What do you mean the serial number on the plate? There's a VIN number, I believe. That's like an ID plate that's on the trailer. Would you have him show me what that is? Is that this ST number? I don't know. ST-225, this number right here? It should be like the VIN number, maybe. I don't know. It should say CP something, I thought. Would you show this to him and ask him to point out what he's made reference to? It's this number up here. Certainly. Which one? Oh, this one. Barely see that one right there. Oh, I see. Mr. Kuhlman, yes, I see what you've circled here. It looks as if it's been rubbed out, but the numbers, mm -hmm. these, these are the VIN numbers that are on the trailer. Correct. Have you seen this, sir? No, ma'am. Well, I'd like to show it to you. And I want you to look at the VIN number on the trailer and compare it to the purchase date and the certificate of registration that he has from, he said he purchased it in 2012. Take a look. See where the numbers are yes, light? Yes, ma'am. The same. I have no idea. I mean, well, well, I, I'm what I'm saying is, is that's a Corn Pro trailer, and this was not a Corn Pro trailer. It was a homemade trailer. So where he got this is beyond me. Come on, the trailer I purchased. <laughs> Maybe you bought this, but it wasn't this trailer in that we're speaking of. This is a totally different trailer than this. You have seven or eight trailers. So it could be one of his trailers. I'm not saying it's not, but it's not the trailer in question. What they did is when they released the trailer to them, they looked on the trailer, and this was on the trailer. No, ma'am, it wasn't. Not on my trailer. Well, but it was on his trailer. Yes, ma'am, it is. With and the license plate. And he didn't plate. put it on the trailer. Listen to me. He didn't put this on the trailer, sir. Sure. It was there the day it was confiscated. No, no, ma'am. Uh, well, it the, was, sir. The because police couldn't find it. That was a whole issue. That's why they confiscated the trailer, because there was no, sir. no I identification. Don't, I don't. That's what you're telling me. Yes, sir. That's yes. not what I know from any report. Do you have a report that says that the reason they confiscated the trailer is because there was no identification on it? Do you have a report that not says that? Not a report. That? That's what the police officer said. Okay. Your case is dismissed, sir. I, the proof that he served me was perfectly satisfactory you, to me to demonstrate that I cannot make a determination by the required quantum of proof here that this man either bought stolen property or is responsible for stealing your trailer. The VIN number that was attached to the trailer, albeit scratched out, albeit somebody tried to get the black number off it, but if you look at it, it is totally consistent with this document, which shows that it was purchased in 2012 by his company. By the way, if it was stolen from you, was it insured? No, ma'am. Why not? Um, it just wasn't. It, it just wasn't. I have two or three trailers and you only one You have how is. many? Two or three. I have it, three trailers. What do you use your three trailers for? Uh, I use, one's a box trailer, one is a high heavy equipment trailer, and this one was for hauling my forklift. Sole purpose I bought it was to haul my forklift. Forklifts, which means you have a business. Yes, ma'am. I buy and sell restaurants. So, which means you have a business. And is what you're telling me that your business does not have insurance that covers stolen property? Not the trailers, my vehicles, my trucks, it does. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think that you should seriously consider increasing your insurance. Case yes. is dismissed. Thank you.